Good day guys, Bing here and today let's model this facade. Okay. We are going to use uh, uh, columns and beams. Okay, so let's let's do it. So first create a new project and uh, first let's go to elevation. So we're going to just add a elevation uh, sorry a level. So this facade will be uh, and placed between level one and level two. Okay, so go back to floor plan, and I'm going to just add some grid. Okay, so one, and I'll use AR array, um, maybe 4.5 meter, and six of them. Okay, so select all and ungroup. So select, I'll create another one. Okay, so maybe I'll call this A. And AR array 4.5 again, six of them. SA ungroup. Okay, so now we have all these grids. Now we're going to place uh, place the columns. Okay, so go structure uh, column load. So go to your Revit family folder. So this is Revit family folder, and go to Structural column still Australian standard. Um, not sure which one I'm going to use. Maybe um, so. For example, uh, in this image is actually uh, cir circular. So I'll just use some. Uh, I'll just pick one. Okay. So maybe uh, we'll use U UB. Okay. So open. Um, I'm not sure about the size, maybe uh, 360 should be okay, maybe. Okay, so now you can use add grids, okay? And before that, I'm going to change from depth to height. Uh, where's the level? Where's the level? Um, I'm not sure, probably it will be placed on ground floor level because currently we are in the uh, ground floor level. So let's just place the columns. So add grid, select select all these, okay, and finish. So now you will see one, two, three, four, five, six column. Again, add grid and select these and finish. So now if we go to 3D view, so we will see all these columns being placed, okay. Now we can select all these columns SA and change the level. So for example, I'll change this to uh, level two with a zero offset, and then the base level will be level one with zero offset. Okay, so now that's that's it. Um, oh, how? Um, I'm not sure how this one's being supported but yeah uh, there must be some other column but just uh, for this exercise let's don't uh, worry about this so now the next step we need to model this uh, diagonal or maybe the horizontal one first so go um, this time it's beam load family so go back this is column okay so these are column Go back, go back, go back, and go to structure framing. So select the steel, uh, and um, not sure which one I'm going to use. Maybe PFC. Okay. So um, maybe let's use a 300. Okay. So now you can, in 3D view, you can use 3D snapping and place place the beam straight away on the columns so you will see you can place it on this and here so that's the beam you can also uh, do it in so depend de depending on um, if you want to place them as you know uh, individual one two three four five you can do this so for example I'll place some here okay so go to level one and if you do beam on grid 
and if you click uh, pick this pick this grid and I'll finish and now if you go back to 3d view you will see it will automatically place all these beams on this grid and between all these uh, uh, columns or the other beam of grids which is uh, perpendicular to this grid okay so with this one you can sync you can sync easily um, control C and let's change this to uh, so use edit work plan pick this to level 2 and OK and then because we did control C all the beams there and we can just use line to the same place so we have two set of beams okay so now this one uh, this is a one uh, whole length so we can just do the same so control C edit work plan and place it to the ground for oh no no oh hell yeah, sorry select so uh, looks, looks like this one you can just change this uh, okay maybe we need to change this to zero as well and then we can place another one okay so that's it so all these are separate these are one uh, full layer so now let's place the diagonal one so diagonal one in 3d view you can do it this way so cs create similar so with this 3d snapping you can just pick this point and pick this you can also use se snap end point so this will make make it easier se se s oh sorry wrong wrong direction so se 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 okay so that's it um let's quickly do this so se 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 oops se 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 no, no one. Okay, so delete this one. So that's it. Okay, so now um, uh, not sure about the structure behind this. So there must be some uh, uh, horizontal structure to support this. But for this exercise, uh, let's just ignore it. Okay, so now let's add some panels. Okay. So these are very, very simple panels. So uh, I think the easiest way is curtain wall. Okay, so let's do it. So CS, oh sorry, WA, curtain wall, sorry, wall. And let's create some curtain wall. So we are going to use, um, let's just uh, model a storefront first. So I'll just model this one. So from this one, I'm going to create some uh, some framing. Okay, so um, let's guess. So the framing will be uh, maybe uh, 30 by 50. Okay, so we so first we need to create a emollient that size with that size. So unpin one of the emollient. So edit type, duplicate. Uh, let's call it 30 by uh, 50 okay and okay so change this to 15 15 change this to 50 so you can also change the material if you want to and I think that's 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 it and okay so now you will see this one's become smaller right so okay so now the next step is select this curtain wall CS create similar edit type duplicate let's create a new one so I'll call this uh, facade panel okay and okay so for this curtain wall the curtain panel will be um, uh, actually I forgot to create a new one so I'll just leave it for now um, join condition don't worry about this so now layout so 
So first, let's change all the mullions. So the, the mullion will be 30 by 50. Okay, so, and the grid. So the horizontal will be, uh, will be one, one. So um, we can use fixed number for it, okay? So the vertical one looks like it's, uh, we can use a distance. So go a vertical grid, we can change this to, um, let's try maximum spacing. Or you can use a fixed distance as well, but um, yeah, it's up to you. Okay, so maximum spacing will uh, make sure all the panel will be the same size, but it might not be 1.5, it might be a one. 0.475 meter. Okay, so I'll just use maximum space for now. So um, okay, and I click okay. So let's create this one. So now you will see this is one. So we just need to change one thing. So this number change it to one. Okay, so there will be one million in the middle always, and then select this one. Uh, we can change the height to level 1, top to level 2. So now you will see this will match that structure. And also looks like uh, the structure here is a bit lower. The top is at level 1, so which means uh, maybe we can just use negative 300 to cover that. So now let's low, uh, oh sorry, delete this one. So we are going to select one of the panel and create a new one. So I'll create a new panel. So uh, that's our panel. Okay. So okay, offset. Um, we'll do it later. Let's first change the. I'll change. I'll make it one a uh, ten, and also make. Uh, change the material. So instead of glass, I'm going to use a, a translucent. So I'm going to just create a new material. Uh, I'll call it facade panel. Okay, so appearance duplicate. I'm going to just uh, I'll just I'll just manually change the color. So I'll use light gray color and also I'll add a little bit of transparency so a uh, transparency yeah 30 should be okay oops uh, we need to also go check this one so it will match the appearance so or you can you change this color manually if you want to so um, okay and okay so now let's have a look so only this panel so I'll I'll use shade SD and you will see all the rest are glass. Okay, so we need to go select this curtain wall and go edit type and here change this to the, the new facade panel and I click OK. So now you will see all the uh, all the rest all the rest of the panels will become this and also you will see that's that's a pinned uh, when the panel is pinned all the molding when it's pinned which means this is um, this is defined all, all the panels or in the molds are decided by this setting setting okay so by curtain panel and the molding if you unpin it, you can change it to whatever you like. So for example, I'll change it to a glazing. Okay, you can do this. But if you want to change it back, you can just pin it. Okay, so now let's have a look of the, um, the offset of the panel. So from this image, you will see, you won't, you can't really see, you can only see a little bit of um, looks like the frame all these frames are behind the panel 
Okay, so we just need to offset. So currently the, the panels in the center of the mullion. So what we need to do is, so these mullions are 50 depths. So we just need to offset these panels. So I'm pink one of the panels so we can do the edit type. So here it's offset. Let, let me just try zero for now. So now, okay, so previously it's 37, now it's zero. It's in the middle of the uh, mullion. So which means we, if we type negative, um, um, I don't know, maybe 15, oh, not enough, negative 25, uh, a little bit more, negative 30. So, okay, so now you'll see the all the whole the mullion is now covered by the panel okay so that's that's it um now we can we can just uh so for example i'll just use uh, this tool trim extend so pick the let me just pick the edge of this beam or oh, sorry column and then click on this and once again, so pick this edge and pick this one. So now we can, so I'm just going to move move it. Okay, so I'll select this one, the uh, curtain wall. I'll move this to touch the structure. Okay, so now this is it. And then we can, uh, let's go to the top again. I'll select this one i'll use dm mirror and i'll just mirror it by 45 degrees so now we have another one okay so um yeah um, you probably want to adjust this a little bit so um okay so because they uh you need you need to um disallow join so you can match the edge but you can also um use the corner mullion but uh i will uh i'll leave it to you okay so i think that's that's pretty pretty good okay so this is it um also if you want to, you can create a trust family for this as well. So you can just place it very easily instead of you know manually place all these beams and columns. Okay, so um, that's it. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.